Praise the Lord. Good night. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege, beloved and friends, to be here back this Wednesday night to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. Who can doubt that tonight? But Jesus Christ promised. He says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never, never leave you nor forsake seek you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome today? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic, beloved and friends, that we all have an assurance that God promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every tribulation. He promised to be with us. He says, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling. Welcome tonight. Let's give him a big hand. God bless you richly. Sincerely from my heart, I release that special blessing upon your life tonight. And I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, and every area in your life. Let me break it down. I pray that God will bless your homes tonight. That God will bless your marriage. God will bless your children, your grandchildren. He will bless your finances. He will bless your business. He will bless you on the job give you favor and promotion on the job and whatever you do with your two hands it shall prosper in jesus they best give the lord a hand isn't he awesome isn't he great isn't he a loving god tonight beloved and friends i cover every believer under the precious blood all the believers i cover under the blood tonight i build a special hedge around your life in the mighty yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness tonight every spirit of witchcraft obia demonic forces evil blights generational curses where the first second third or fourth generational curse i reverse i destroy i break in the name of jesus whom the son set free is free indeed every chain is broken every barrier every fetter every evil in jesus name for whom the son set free is free indeed you are free tonight let's give him a big hand you are free in the mighty name of jesus you are free by the blood of jesus you are free by but no, in oh, no other name, but in the name of Jesus. Jesus also said in his words, healing is the children's bread. And the first covenant God made with man was the covenant of healing. For he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes I'm healed. You are healed, we are healed, all of us are healed tonight. Let's give him a big hand tonight. Father God, tonight I pray this Wednesday night that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Born out every sickness, born out every pain, born out every disease, born out every infirmities, born out every evil and every work of darkness. As I minister your words tonight, dear Father, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus precious name I pray as I minister your words will go with power tonight in Jesus name amen let's give a lot of big hand tonight let's turn to our Bible tonight which is supposed to have we have a short topic tonight Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, yes, but against principalities, against powers, yes, against against powers, against beloved, the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah! Isn't that so tonight? Ephesians six verse twelve is a key part of Paul's lesson about spiritual battle tonight. This Wednesday night, these days, some Christians find it hard to connect 
deeply with these lessons this is often because of modern world the modern world has changed the way we think about things we can see or touch like the spiritual world but Paul reminds us beloved that our struggles are not just against the things we see but against powerful forces in the spiritual world as Christians tonight we need to remember that our daily problems and challenges often involve more than what we can see and touch tonight yes beloved sometimes the spiritual battle that Paul talks about feel far from our everyday lives we live in a world that likes to see and touch things or to believe they are real this can make it hard for us to see and understand our spiritual battles it is easy to forget that we are like soldiers in a spiritual war when we only think about physical things we risk not seeing the big role that spiritual forces play to fix this we need to listen to Paul's word and remember that we are part of a very real ongoing spiritual battle. We must prepare ourselves, stay alert tonight, pray understanding that our challenges are often deeper than they seem tonight. Yes, our struggles are fully appreciated. Paul's message often comes from our failure to understand just how much spiritual wickedness affects us. Paul was telling us to start a battle. Yes, he was saying that the battle is already happening around us, whether we realize it or not, whether we want to be part of it or not. As Christians, as believers, we are thrust right into the battle of that battle battle as Christians we need to understand this really really the weight of the truth and to act according to our struggles it is not against worldly problems beloved but against forces that wants to pull us away from God's word and God's laws yes my friends hallelujah we need to understand truly yes Paul words we we are prepared must prepare our lives our faith in this modern world fully aware of the spiritual battle that is happening all around us I once read a story about a young woman a young Christian woman yes yes on a website began seeing a tall shadow in her room I heard a story from two persons also at night which made her very scared this shadow appeared suddenly and she could figure out why she hadn't seen doing anything strange or evil but suddenly this shadow was there standing in the corner of a room every night every even when she tried to sleep at hotels or friends house the shadow was still there it will show up and just watch her yes my friends when she told her friend about what was happening to her her friend invited her to join a secret group Yes, friends, her friend told her they could cast spells to protect her from the shadow. So the young woman joined this group and started to get involved with their activities. Each time she drove deeper into the group, my friends, the shadow will disappear for a while, but when it will always come back, which made her go even deeper into the group's teachings. Yes, this cycle keep repeating itself. What what the young woman didn't realize was that uh, you can't fight darkness with darkness did you get that uh, as it says in mark chapter 3 verse 24 if uh, if a kingdom is divided against itself uh, that kingdom cannot cannot stand she don't know that you can't fight evil with evil you can't fight evil with evil strange and crazy things start happening to this young woman's life uh, beloved and friends these things will happen only at night between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. she was so scared that she starts sleeping during the day and staying up at night my friends the situation got even scarier when she started hearing footsteps in her house when no one else was there this woman's experience shows us how important it is to understand and correctly deal with spiritual battles beloved and friends tonight 
night one day a young Christian couple came to her door and she defeat with her she told these Christians about her ordeal and they keep repeating she keep repeat, repeating the phrase they come at night they come at night from that day on she stopped having anything to do with the secret group and the dark shadow never returned four years later her friend who had introduced her to the group admitted that she had cast a spell to make the shadow figure appear in her life i am sharing this story to show how evil the devil is he will do anything to pull you deeper into this world i have witnessed how satan can exploit trauma in people's life to gain a foothold my friends there was a woman in the church who shared her story that perfectly illustrates this when her grandmother yes who was deeply involved suddenly passed away both she and her mother were felt into overwhelming grief. Yes, the abruptness and shock of their loss led them desperate for comfort and connection in their heart. Take a medium or a specialist, my friends, they take offer to communicate with their departed loved one. One, one they yearn for closure for one last conversation to see all the words left unsaid my friends and beloved but this decision born from pain and loss led them down a path that is strictly forbidden according to biblical teachings tonight the devil is crafty and cruel he capitalizes on the brief and coax them into action against the fit he used their vulnerability to find an entry or point into their lives demonstrating he does not pay play by any rules satan can exploit our weaknesses my friends moments and deepest sorrows for his game demons tonight my friends have the ability to take control of people and cause them pain yes my friends they can make them see really scare things both angels and demons can make supernatural things happen in the book of revelation yes we see angels causing a lot of events in earth on earth angels and demons can directly affect affect our world think about the devil did to in job's life beloved and friends tonight can he can also the extraordinary things in acts chapter 16 verse 16 in the king james version a girl possessed by a demon could predict the future which made a lot of money for her owners yes my friends the apostle paul cast the demon out of this of her this shows us some of the things that happen or are the works of angels or demons causing things to happen in supernatural ways the ghosts that people People say they see are not people yes they have died they are spirit beings did you get that pretending to be those people as followers of Jesus Christ it's important to understand that we are in a spiritual battle yes my friends but it's also important to know that we are not helpless tonight in the Bible in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 18 Paul talks about the arm of God this is like a suit of of armor that can help us in spiritual battles it includes the belt of truth the breastplate of righteousness shoes of the gospel of peace yes my friends the shield of faith the helmet of salvation and the word of the spirit which is god's word these are all stands for spiritual truths they can help us stay strong against the devil tricks hallelujah the armor of god isn't just a symbol tonight it's a call to action hallelujah truth righteousness peace faith and salvation beloved and friends and god's word aren't just ideal they are things we need to do every day wearing the belt of truth means being honest with ourselves with others and with god we need to stay on note to the devil's lies the breastplate of righteousness means making choices that follow god's rules hallelujah shoes of the gospel of peace reminds us to live peaceable with others did you get that sharing god's love our sheet of faith is our strong belief tonight 
God's promises and his power to keep us safe. The helmet of salvation helps us remember God's promises of eternal life. The sword of the spirit, which is God's word, is our tool tonight for fighting spiritual battles. We can use it to say, don't to lies, encourage ourselves and find the right path. Hallelujah. Prayer, prayer, my friends, and spending time with God arms are also very important in winning the battle, the spiritual battle. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18, Paul tells us to pray at all times. Pray at all times is how we talk to God. It gives us strength, direction, and comfort. It's also important to help each each other pray for our children pray for your loved ones yes if you truly appreciate tonight what prayer does and it doing in our lives brothers and sisters family friends relatives we should pray more as child of god there is no need to fear curses satan or any other being tonight cannot undo what god has done if god has blessed you no man can reverse that blessing tonight yes you see god blessing are not just simply good wishes they are powerful affirmations of his love his protection his promises to us when god blesses you it is as though he places a protective shield around you my friends that cannot be penetrated by the enemy's curses god protection also extends to your children the bible is full of promises tonight let's give a big hand for kids for the children of those who believe in him tonight in acts chapter 2 verse 39 the bible says hallelujah the promises for you and your children hallelujah as a parent tonight when you walk with god and follow his commands you are not only ensure your own spiritual protection but uh, you also <laughs> secure blessings God blessings for your children this is a powerful truth tonight uh, that can bring great comfort in times of worry or fear beloved and friends always remind yourself uh, you cannot curse what God has blessed hallelujah praise God let's give a big hand <laughs> Say it now, say it in your heart, say it until it sinks deep within you tonight. Not only you are blessed and protected tonight, but you also have the authority, the authority to resist Satan's temptation to harm you. In James chapter 4 verse 7, we are told, submit, submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. This is a powerful promise tonight from God, my friends, as his children. We are not helpless victims on the contrary when we submit to God yes we have the power and the dunamis to resist the devil and he has no choice but to flee my friends Finally tonight, we need to remember that Jesus has already won the battle in John chapter 16, verse 33. Jesus tells us, hallelujah, in this world, we will have trouble, but take heart, take heart. I have overcome the world as Christians tonight. We are not fighting to win, but from a place of victory, the devil is strong, but God is stronger. Yes, my friends, because of Jesus' sacrifice, we don't have to be afraid of death the power of sin and the devil has been broken knowing this my friends we can face spiritual battles bravely and confidently as Romans chapter 8 verse 37 says hallelujah in these in all these they are bold and conquerors conquerors to him that love us hallelujah our job is to stay strong in faith tonight yes we wear the full armor of God spend time with him and keep going knowing knowing that Jesus has already won the victory let's give my big hand tonight hallelujah the victory the victory has already been won the victory has already been won you were not born to be defeated but to conquer and the victory has already been won Christ has won the victory for you fear not fear not the victory has won hallelujah let's give him a big hand tonight Praise God, thank you, Jesus. Those who 
you are sick tonight, you may sick unto death, you are sick in the hospitals, in your home, in your bed, wherever you are tonight watching from the USA, the UK, Canada, the Caribbean, in Europe, any part of this world, tonight <coughs> is your night <coughs> for a miracle, tonight is your night for salvation. Tonight is your night for healing. Tonight is your night for deliverance. Yes, my friends, the healing God is still in the healing business. And that's Jesus, for he was wounded for our transgressions. The Bible says, beloved and friends, he took 39 stripes upon his back. According to medical doctors, there are 39 major sicknesses and pain and disease in the world. But I believe that Jesus Christ took one of those stripes for each one of those sicknesses, pain and disease. Let me go a little further. God created man out of dust and breathed into his nostrils and man became a living soul. So tonight God who knows every part, every bone, every marrow, every joint, every tissue, every organ in your body is no big deal for him to give you a brand new heart, a brand new lungs, a brand new kidney. He'll pour out that stage four cancer from your body tonight. Heal you from that arthritis pain, that uh, pain in your joints, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that migraine headache he can heal you from, that depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety. Yes, he will heal you tonight. Uh, that uh, diabetes sickness, uh, your skin, bone, panic, God is touching your blood tonight. Uh, that growth in your stomach, uh, God going to heal you tonight. Uh, that shut down kidneys, God going to heal you tonight. Uh, yes, my friends, whatever sickness you have, those who have a migraine headache, uh, those who have a mental mental sickness and nervous breakdown God is touching you restoring sanity sound mind strong and healthy body those who are demon possessed tonight I command those demons harassing demons to leave right now I see demons are fleeing left right and center yes demons are leaving people bodies accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior yes my friends and beloved hallelujah yes right now people are healed already I didn't even send for the anointing it's the power of God in this place tonight yes my friends hallelujah god is healing people god is setting people free let's give the lord a big hand tonight in the name of jesus where are you watching from tonight right here where are you watching from tonight on the internet in your living room in your dining room in your kitchen in your car in your office on the street with your phone in church yes in your bedroom in your living room wherever you're watching from tonight wherever you're watching god gonna touch you as i said for the anointing tonight it's strong here tonight right now in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus be set free by the power of the holy spirit i see many are healed many are saved many are delivered many are set free for all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil yes the blind is seeing tonight yes the dumb talking the deaf hearing tonight yes my friends people are healing that did the, the, that spirit of oppression depression frustration anxiety is gone those demons are gone from your life in the name of jesus give my big hand tonight healing all manner of healing my friends, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior tonight and be free from every work of darkness. God, the Holy Spirit will give you the strength to live a godly life in a sick and sinful world. Write me, text me, call me, let me know tonight what God has done for you. Go back and check with the doctors. That sickness, that pain, that disease, that infirmities is gone. You're completely healed tonight. Let's give him a big hand tonight. We love you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let us a great joy and privilege to be here this Wednesday night to minister to teach her the word in this manner. Yes, God bless you richly. Do have a sweet night dress in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. I love you very much in the love of God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See you in the next session. Amen. Praise God.